Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Car X Drift Racing 2 with Brogue Hammer Auto House. Um, thank you to everybody who has subscribed. Um, we are officially going to be at 100 subscribers by the end of the day today, I would hope. Um, I really appreciate that. Uh, it's been a long time coming, but you know, you got to start somewhere. So that's where I'm at. Um, also, thanks to everybody who joined the club that I created in the game. Um, I'll leave details for that in the description. So if you'd like to join, uh, just go down there, check that out. It's pretty easy. You just leave a comment uh, with your username in the game and uh, I'll accept your application. So uh, today's episode is mostly going to cover the full tune walkthrough of the Corona, which is a level two car in the game, not the coronavirus. But uh, <laughs> anyways, I'm just showing you guys what it looks like inside the club here. And once you join, you can come in and challenge me to uh, certain tracks. So the idea is for you guys to beat my score, really. And right now I'm holding all the records I'd like for some other people to beat me out on some of these. Uh, here I've got the Corona. I'm just driving it in one of the challenges, not challenges, in the club here. And it's more so just to show you the actual driving style of the Corona. Um, I know that this vehicle is not necessarily gonna be winning any massive score awards or anything like that, but it is an incredibly fun car to drive. Um, I personally really enjoy the big, bigger bodied drift cars, the four door cars, um, rather than the sedans. I mean, I love both, but uh, there's just something about swinging around a big four door car that uh, puts a smile on my face. So uh, as you can see, it's not like a chase down type of thing or anything like that. It's just high score wins. He beat me out by a couple thousand there and had the higher scores. I'm gonna show you guys a couple more runs here and then we'll jump into the tune. So if you're here strictly for the tune, um, go ahead and jump ahead about a minute or two and you should be there. But I just wanted to explain a little bit of my driving style here with the Corona. Um, I'm able to stay very solid on throttle and the angle hardly changes. Um, it's a really stable drift car and it's really easy to manipulate where you want it to be. Um, I don't know if that's strictly just because of the tune that I have on it or uh, if in general it does perform that way. You can see I can really work it out to the edges here and be along the bank, no problem. Stays high in fourth gear without um, being too much on limiter and not uh, having enough power on the alternative. So it's a good uh, kind of medium sized drift car and medium power. I think it maxes out at just under 600 horsepower. And so it's not great for the really big open tracks. Um, those ones, uh, you might wanna get one of the higher horsepower vehicles in there for that, but it's good for most of these tighter, you know, more nimble tracks. Um, the quick, you know, quick initiation, quick turns, um, not the big, huge sweeping turns. They just, in general, need more horsepower. So, all right. So now that you've seen that a little bit, we'll jump into the tune here and I'll do some explaining there. My spring size, everything you can see on the screen there. Um, the stiffness is all the way up, which I will say, I think this is the only vehicle where I have this rear or the front spring stiffness that stiff. Um, I don't know why, but it just seemed to work the best for my tune in this sense. So um, if you need to see some of these stats, just pause it and then you can copy down, you know, the camber and the toe. Uh, I run a full sway bar lock uh, as far as the highest amount of sway bar you can have in the front. And I run almost no sway bar in the rear. Uh, the rear spring stiffness is pretty standard for what I normally run. I run a square setup on the tires, which is 19 inch by 265 with a 35% profile. Um, and I run 200 uh, KPA tire pressure on pretty much all my vehicles all around. Seems to be the happy spot. And I think if I'm not mistaken, that's where they keep it from the factory anyway, like when you buy a car. But I have seen some that have some slightly higher numbers there. So. The torque curve was pretty good on that one. As you could see, nothing crazy. And then here's my differential and gearing. Uh, again, you can pause the screen if you need to see some of this. I've adjusted a few things uh, away from what it would have been. And then uh, knocking down that gear shifting delay down to you know the lowest amount possible because you don't need a delay. It's not gonna help you do anything. So, um, all right, well, that's basically it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put my axis widths back to zeros. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, appreciate all the subscriptions, the comments, and uh, you guys joining the club. I think that's gonna be a fun way for us all to communicate through the chat and uh, jump in and do some drifting together. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you next time.